used for internal purposes and a whole complete new range of box cameras and zoom cameras. So these dome products all feature A1 DSP. Now A1 DSP might sound very nice, but what does it actually do? So what we'd like to do is move it with what we've done in the centre console of the stand this year is give you some idea of the differences between uh, using our existing standard technology and the new A1 DSP coming in. So if you'd like to join me A1 over at the centre console, DSP. everything here that you see is A1 DSP. And the whole camera range, every camera that we are doing, rolling out from the box cameras, zoom cameras, mini domes and the fully functional domes will all feature the A1 DSP technology. So what is A1? Well A1 comes from all in one and what we've tried to do this time to enable you to see some of the benefits that we have from using A1 DSP technology is we've introduced a number of new key features. All A1 DSP cameras will start at 600 TV lights. That's the first thing. Uh, so that makes, them, uh, that makes them a good match with the Samsung Electronics monitors rated at 620. We've extended the dynamic range. Wide dynamic range allows for, as you probably all know, the compression of detail and being able to see detail inside and outside in strongly backlit illuminated scenes. The extended dynamic range does it at the other end and looks at the shadows. So what we have here is two monitors, one with XDR off and one with XDR on. And the idea behind XDR is in the shadow areas and that was the 1519 just gone through there, <laughs> is to actually be able to see much, much, much more detail in the shadows than was ever previously available before. Extended dynamic range, it comes in, there are various levels of extended dynamic range. Uh, in the menu structure is low, medium, and high, depending upon the depth of the shadow. Moving around, virtual progressive scanning. Virtual progressive scanning allows, allows, because we use dual scan CCDs, we can uh, allow virtual progressive scan technology to convert to interlace and then back to uh, progressive scan through progressive scan enabled monitors. You will see the effect as the train goes through. In here, the detail is very difficult to make out, but with VPS or virtual progressive scan on, you'll see a lot more detail in the train as it goes through. So if you can compare those two, as it goes through. This is standard, this is using virtual progressive scan. Much sharper images and if you're using virtual progressive scan enabled monitors you can get much cleaner, sharper images. We have also... This uh, is JPEG technology. Uh, okay, I'll come back to that in a bit if I can, yeah. Is that okay? Okay. There is basic video analytics built into the camera system now. The A1 DSP chipset does have a limited level of video analytic capability. This includes object removed, object dropped, motion tracking and electronic fence line. So you can see here there are the fence area line is, uh, on this particular monitor and motion tracking of an image uh, of, an uh, of an object going straight through the scene can be used to generate alarm conditions, but it is, it's, it's not <laughs> top level video analytics, but it is a good start.